I don't need to do the whole intro, do I? From the earliest days of... Uh, I forgot to start with who my name Don't forget to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to find the keys to the sea chest, uh, as well as some of the other very important duties that must be performed on board Navy ships. I have a list here of some of my... Uh, favorite jobs performed on the ship, and we're going to talk about what they entail. Maybe you're a new sailor who's looking into the Navy, um, and, and these are some of the jobs that are critically important, but often given to brand new sailors on the ship to help get them used to life at sea. First up, opening the valve for the water-cooled handrails. The handrails can get very hot or very cold depending on the time of year, so they tend to have both uh, chill water and steam going through them. And uh, if they're too hot, you need to close the steam valve and open the water valve. Too cold, you have to do the opposite. Um, many sailors on the ship um, have been on board for years and don't know where it is. So it's critically important for new sailors to be able to find it to prove themselves to those older sailors. Just be warned, uh, the older sailors don't like to admit that they don't know where it is, so they may send you weird places uh, looking for it. You'll find it eventually. The ship is uh, finitely small. Bilge fishing is another important duty. Uh, sometimes small fish, baby fish, get sucked up into condensers, uh, evaporators, those sorts of things. They end up in the bilge and they grow much larger. And uh, at that point, they are able to clog up machinery and they will wreck the engineering plant. So for any of you uh, firemen strikers out there, you're probably gonna have to open up some deck plates and crawl around in the bilges to find these little critters before they do any damage. Shoreline is a very important uh, piece of line on the ship. So oftentimes you will be sent to find uh, 10 feet of shoreline, uh, often the bosuns are doing some line handling work and uh, they, they just need that shoreline because shoreline will not break. The ship's navigation lights are filled with colored oil, red for the port side, green for the starboard side. Uh, if that oil is not in place, then they start to go white and people don't know the, their navigation lights anymore. So you've got to find the colored oil for the navigation lights and make sure that they stay fill, uh, and make sure they stay full. Spark watch is another incredibly important detail for uh, firemen strikers. The ships stack uh, sparks. If those sparks hit the deck, it could catch the whole ship on fire and destroy it. Believe it or not, this is most likely to happen when it rains. So often during bad rainstorms, you'll be asked to stand spark watch out on the main deck. Make sure you take a mop bucket so you can chase the sparks and hit them with a wet mop. Punches are very important tools, uh, particularly for putting holes in stuff, and there, there's no limit to uses, but they come in a number of different shapes and sizes. So uh, depending on what job you're assisting with as a new sailor, you may need to go and find a bosun's punch, or a BT's punch, or a quartermaster's punch. And uh, each of these different departments have their own sets, and you know, there's difference between metric and imperial and whatnot, so sometimes you just need to get that perfect size. Greasing the relative bearing. Bearings are very important for much of the machinery on the ship, and they need to be greased uh, if, if they dry out, then you get metal and metal rubbing, friction, stuff gets destroyed. Uh, and the relative bearing is one of the most important bearings on the ship. So it has its own very particular grease for lubricating it. Darn it, there are so many storerooms on the ship. There, there's usually only one can of it that's assigned to each individual ship. And, and you know how those storekeepers are. It gets lost. You, you never know where to find it. So you might have to run around and check a couple of places before you can find the right relative bearing grease. Watering the compass rose. Uh, many ships, captains, prefer to keep uh, plants. We've all seen Mr. Roberts. We know this is true. Uh, the compass rose is a particular seafaring variety of rose that captains are particularly fond of, and it needs to be watered frequently. 
as a new sailor, uh, you probably have a brand new clean uniform. So your older sailors would prefer if you do this job because their, their uniforms are usually stained and, and torn up. So uh, they'll give you a mop bucket to go and water the compass rose. Don't feel bad about disturbing the captain, though. Uh, he, he's usually not too busy. Finding a gallon of prop wash. The sh uh, ships at sea often get growth on the underside. It's fine if this is growing on the hull, but if it's growing on the propellers, that will slow your ship down significantly. It could even damage things. So there is a very specific prop. There is a very specific prop wash for those manganese bronze propellers. You don't want to use something that's corrosive to them. Uh, so finding where the prop wash is stored is very important. Yeah, it's not something that's done particularly often, so usually there isn't much of it on board the ship. So again, this is another one where the storekeepers tend to lose it and you might have to go and track it down. Finding a left-handed crescent wrench. Oftentimes, there isn't enough room to turn a crescent wrench. So a regular right-handed crescent wrench, at least. Uh, sometimes this is because the person you're assisting is left-handed, or sometimes th there just isn't enough room for a left-hand turn, and you need, uh, or there isn't enough room for a right-hand turn, and you need that left-handed crescent wrench. Uh, ag again, you know, most of the population is right-handed. Most crescent wrenches are right-handed, so it might be difficult to find a left-handed one on board. But the tool issue rooms have so many different implements that they're sure to have at least one. The keys to the sea chest. Uh, the sea chest is a very important storage area on the ship. Uh, and because it's so important, there's usually just a single set of keys. Uh, it, it's not so important that those keys are held by the captain. It's usually given to a senior enlisted sailor. Uh, but often, you go so long between opening the sea chest that you forget which sailor has the keys at any given time. So that's another one where you might have to go through a couple different crew members to find who has it now. Mail buoy watch. Getting letters at sea is vitally important to crew morale. Uh, sometimes they are airdropped from planes where your ship is going to be sailing. Uh, it's, it's really weird, uh, rare for ships to meet in the middle of the ocean. So to get that mail to you every single day, uh, it's, it's often airdropped. The, the mail, mail's in a waterproof bag, but you know how heavy a sack of uh, mail is, so it'll often sink. So there's always a buoy floating above it. This is another watch that's very important for you to stand, uh, particularly in inclement weather when it's dark and the lookouts just might not see it. Uh, and make sure you've got a uh, broom handle, a mop handle, or a uh, bosun's hook so that you can hook that if you spot it and manage to sail by the mail buoy. Sound-powered phone batteries are vitally important to communications, particularly when power is out and you've lost your normal uh, ship service telephone systems, your 1MCs, all that stuff. Uh, so it, it is extremely important that you find the batteries for sound-powered phones and keep them fully charged. Now, this is another one that they're, they're like LED lights. They uh, don't need to be charged often, but when you need them, you don't want them to be dead. So make sure you find those sound-powered batteries, uh, sound-powered phone batteries. Finding a bucket of dead steam. Uh, finding a bucket of dead steam is something of a rite of initiation among firemen strikers in particular. The uh, dead steam is steam that has gone through the ship's uh, boilers and turbines already uh, and done everything it can do, and then it dies. One of the manliest things that a new sailor can do to prove themselves on the ship is to find where the dead steam is collected underneath of the turbines, uh, fill a bucket with the dead steam, and then drink it in front of your fellow sailors. Thank you guys for watching. What is your favorite task for new sailors to perform? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from a number of other uh, institutions and private viewers like yourselves. The support, particularly given to us by private viewers, has allowed us to go from making one video a week to making this a larger part of our job so we can release multiple videos a week, including this April Fool's video.
If you would like to continue to support our channel and the fun we're having, there's a link in the description down below. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you're notified when all these new videos are coming out. Thanks for watching. In the overheads here. Ow! Oh, that's what this is. Oh, it's, I'm not seeing the light. I pulled ahead of board ship. Nah, I missed the oar. On each side. No, cut that. Or yeah. watch your head and feet as you move around. You bring it over to the workbench. Today we're going to be asking, answering handling rooms during wartime. In peacetime, yeah. test, test, test.